Hello folks, Jason Cressman, Grazing Acres Farm. About three years ago, I learned of this fly tape that you're looking at here. Works very, very, very well. I cannot emphasize how well this stuff works. When you buy it, it comes on a roll, just like this, with the sticky side on the inside, as you see here. Um, the roll is 30 foot long and approximately a foot wide. It may be exactly a foot wide, I can't say for sure. Um, the way I've been using it is I've got this 50 gallon drum and it just so happens that this 50 gallon drum is bigger at the top, which is down here, and smaller on the bottom. So by me turning it upside down, when I take the tape and wrap around it and then stick it back to itself, it doesn't want to slide down to the bottom because it's bigger. So this works very well for me. Um, this particular tape that you're looking at here was put on 24 hours ago. Now if we walk around and look at it all the way around, I think you're going to be surprised. And my goodness, look at that. Look at that fly. That might be what they call a horn fly. I can't say for sure, but if you know, please leave a comment. But what you see here is mostly face flies. Look at all of them. It's got to be thousands of them. After they get stuck, you hear them buzzing for a little bit, and then eventually they just die on the paper. You change it out, you put new paper back on, and you're good to go. So what I do is I move this around pretty much daily or every other day, um, according to my pasture set up with the cattle. Um, since we do rotational grazing, it has moved quite a bit, but I try and keep it close to the cattle. Um, at first, I was kind of uh, skeptical on leaving it in the same paddocks with the cows, but that hasn't been a problem. It's like the cows know it's a tool. It's there to help them. So you could probably take and get like a half a sheet of plywood and mount it to the bottom and maybe mount a chain or a piece of rope to that and just drag it. Um, the plywood would make it a little bit more stable and keep it from falling over. Um, I use this little trailer because I also move a homemade fly trap. If you're interested in learning more about that, it'll be linked at the end of this video. Another way you can use this fly tape is around the bottom of your stock tanks. Now let me move down to my stock tank and I'll show you just what I mean. So what you're looking at here is my water sled that I move pretty much every day with the herd. It's got a chain hook to the front. It's basically a steel tubing all welded together. I've got a tank back here for the calves to drink out of and a bigger one up here for the big girls and boys. Um, on the sides, to hold my stock tank in place, I have these upright um, pieces of rebar. There's one there and there's another one right there. Um, so what I do is I take, as you can see over here, and I loop from rod over to the rod and leave that on the side. And I notice these ones seem to collect the flies the most. Now I just put this piece on here. And the reason being is, this is the cattle come over and they seem to shake their head right before they go to go in and get a drink. When they do that head shake, the flies jump off and look for something to land on. For some reason they're drawn to that paper. It's just amazing how quick that fills up. So, um, if you think about how many fly eggs um, you're keeping from being uh, planted in the manure, just by killing these flies every day, eventually, you're going to make a big difference. But um, when you start in the middle of fly season, like I did this year, um, it's going to take a little bit to catch up. So I hope you like this video, folks, and if so, you'll give it a thumbs up, and that'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks and make it 
easier for other people that's interested in uh, getting rid of some flies. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and make sure you click on that little bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Thanks for watching. Grazing Acres Farm.